the shareholders of Intercontinental Bank has given a resounding yes vote to the proposal by the directors to reorganize the capital structure of the bank, recapitalize the regulatory requirements, and bring in Access Bank as a new core investor and merge into a new entity. They have taken us to a stage that we're acquiring one of the former biggest banks in the country. And we're happy. And uh, this acquisition is going to add value to us. We are going to have more branches uh, in the country. We are going to have uh, more profit. Our turnover is going to increase. Being next to nothing, I don't think that delisting it will affect the uh, capital market in any way, the stock market in any way. I, in fact, in delisting it and the merger with um, Access Bank, I believe that that will boost the share price of Access Bank and what the, any shareholder, in fact most shareholders of Intercontinental Bank are shareholders of Access Bank and what they lose in Intercontinental, they are likely to gain in uh, Access. The CEO of the bank says it's been a very unique experience for him in managing a very difficult institution over the past 26 months. To God be the glory, today the vote has been overwhelming, resounding yes to the future of the bank. And I want to thank all stakeholders for their tremendous support. I have the absolute confidence in the future of the bank. I have confidence in the new investors. They have proven themselves and I have no doubt that they are going to utilize effectively, optimally, the combined resources of the two institutions. This is the beginning of the end for Intercontinental Bank and the end of a new beginning.